Hey, hey, hey! YouTube in the house. So I am sitting here and I'm just working on. I got the wheel all buttoned up. Everything's beautiful on on everything being north and south. Everything's spaced real good. Everything's tight. Magnus got some strength. And then I'm working on the timing for it. So that's the timer, the relay, of the lead switch. two more of these and then I'm going to take angle iron and build brackets to suspend and hold to the body for those PMHs and then we're going to take what this relay does off the reed switch I'm going to substitute both of those and I'm going to make this a synchronous rotary gap generator so down here I'm going to put a gear and I'm going to come off the gear with a contact around disc so when you turn the wheel it'll do just what the relay is doing when it gets to a point it'll make a contact and then it'll break contact Make a contact so it'll be its own synchronous motor. That's my positive rail, that's my negative rail. I'm almost thinking about taking a battery and stick it in the middle for right now and hook it up, but I don't think I got that much energy in me tonight. how I got the wheel turned before so um, when you plan here is when you fire up the magnets on the inside they're gonna pull themselves into the PMH the PMH is gonna pull the wheel to it so it's gonna be supersonic strength to pull which um, will help with the resistance that we're going to create on the current that we create coming off this wheel. The rotary spark gap down bottom is going to be ideal. A synchronous motor just makes sense. Although this is brilliant in itself, the relay and the reed switch, and because these got good strength now just by themselves, once you turn them on, I'll be able to take this reed switch and probably back it up back here because I'll be kicking out some good power out of here. But um, this is brilliant in itself. But I see that coming off the bottom crankshaft with a gear and I can definitely design a rotary gap. And that's, that's going to be the key here. So we can have when this comes up, approaches this, and these two lines line up, it will pull, line right up, then it'll break free, and that's where the other side is out of phase from this side, and it will be clicking on. This will be off, it'll allow the opposite magnet to pass by it, and then when it gets about there, it'll click on again. This will always be pushing a, say, a south pole, and this will be a north pole. And 
it'll be roof, skip one, roof, and the other one will be doing it too, and uh, possibly all four. But like I said, I really want to make two of them to be pulling off the main capacitor bank that uh, we'll see what we can do on conserving energy, creating energy, and uh, yeah. Yep. All right, you guys. Peace out.